like to introduce you to the Z-Cat. This is the world's first truly portable DCC coordinate measure machine. It weighs about 30 pounds. The Z-Cat is, is manually operated to do the programming uh, and then it runs under computer control when you actually take the measurements. It has a 700 millimeter radius, a 275 millimeter Z-axis. To do a, any part, typically we're going to do a, a simple alignment. So I will tell the Z-Cat I want to do an alignment on the part. Hit my alignment key. A simple alignment requires three points on a plane. And I'm manually going to tell it where that plane is. Two points on a line and one point on the end. At that time, I'll tell the Z-Cat I finished. It knows approximately where that part is. I'll now let it do the actual measurement and alignment under computer control. So it has a preset go-to speed, a preset measurement speed. Now it's measuring the plane, the line, and the point. I will then lock it into the Z-Cat so now it knows where that part is. Now I can manually go in and I can measure any geometric measurement that I want to measure um, that you typically do with a coordination machine. Um, I can, if I've uh, already measured some parts, I can actually string those dimensions together and create a program or a macro. Uh, a simple little film strip on here is something I did. It took me about five minutes to write this. Uh, it has just a few individual dimensions. It, we, we call those dimensions, in this case it's measuring a plane. The next dimension will be a diameter. So it, we're measuring this inside diameter, actually three millimeters below the plane. Every time it finishes the dimension, it will then be able to send the, the final results through the wireless network into a PC running, uh, PC, running uh, Excel or any other software program you want to. It just measured an angle, now it's measuring a radius. It will now measure another angle. The Z-Cat is capable of doing uh, difficult three-dimensional dimensions. Uh, in this case, it'll do a cone. And when it's finished with the cone, it'll switch over to the right angle probe and come to the side of the part and measure a sphere, an internal sphere. So this is something that we can train any operator how to do any inspector, any machinist, anybody who knows a little bit about the part they're making, uh, they'll be able to come in and measure it. So we don't have to have a, a highly trained, educated programmer to be able to use a coordinate measuring machine in computer control. We can teach almost any employee how to do this. Very simple, very accurate, very easy to use. That's the end of our program. Now we could have another part nested anywhere around here and, and duplicate that, or I could bring another part up and, uh, and measure it and get the results. So that's how easy, how quick we can measure part in DCC quarter measuring.